I'm Jumbo. Good morning. I'm Billionaire Janet. I feel fresh. I feel blessed. I want to speak about Dory. The African custom is a custom then that when we come into marriage you have to pay a token of thanksgiving to the parents of the girl or the guardian uh, 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 is a piece or is a is, is, a, is an, a reward for appreciation for them having uh, taken care of the the girl that you're marrying and it's a foundational thing when you meet a girl, you young woman, when you meet this man, your sweetheart, your honey, your darling, it's good to take the first steps before you begin the bedroom matters to go and see both the parents of the the parents of the girl and the parents of the boy and the parents of the boy before you go further so that you will know where to to, to, to where to rectify or where you're settling for what you're settling for and if you are ready to marry from that home if you are ready to be married to that home then you that you can proceed with the other procedures of marriage I'm not talking about the come we stay relationships where people come and stay together no marriage no dowry that has been uh, paid it's just when you come we stay if we have children it's okay we let us move on with our lives but there is no commitment i'm speaking about relationships that are called long-term relationships relationships with commitment relationships that a man has valued you and he has taken a token of thanksgiving to your parents that is a relationship that the relationship that i'm talking about because a man, if a man takes you and just stays with you, there is no value. He has not seen such value on you. And I, I don't know the far that that can go. At the end of the day, it can not work that way. Sometimes the girl will realize that this man has taken me for granted and she will elope. She will run. She will leave you. Then you have wasted your 10 years, your 7 years. That is a lot of wastage. We don't need to waste any time on the planet Earth. We have little time to waste a moment. The minute you understand the man that you are, you are with is not ready to commit, is not ready to pay for dowry, is not ready to appreciate you, appreciate your parents according to the customs that we found, please run. Run, run for your life and uh, the next thing is to not settle for less the next relationship. Please, women, do not take me wrongly. Stop staying with men who have not paid your dowries. You are not married. You are just a sex weapon. I'm an instrument. You are, you are just there. And your time is just being wasted by this man. The so-called man that you have married. That you are staying with because you are not married. You, 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 you are doing the wife chores. Cooking for him. Cleaning the home. Uh, doing the bedroom matters, uh, having children with this man who has no commitment. You are wasting your moment, you are wasting your time. A man that values you will marry you without bleeding of the high. He will marry you, he will not feel like he's less him, he will marry you. So I encourage you to understand 
that um, relationships are expensive. People see African women like cheap women, but we are expensive women. We are not cheap women, we are expensive. I want to know whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are Asian, the minute you come and you want a woman from Africa, that woman is paid for. There is a token of reward that is given according to the different cultures that we have in Africa. And you, please, you need to do so to place a value that this woman will say for sure, I've come to this marriage, I will have to sit at the center of the seat because I'm comfortable, my husband has paid my bride price. If you have not given up the bride price, please do that quickly. It is good, it's a blessing. One of the great preachers around, around says that if you're not paid for your wife's bride price, your children can never be great. They are suppressed, they can never become great. Because there is no blessing from the parents who wiped the baby, took care of this young girl, educated her, until you once found her, loved her, and began a relationship with her. So if you want a long-term blessing from God, please pay bright price. Remember Jacob who worked seven years for the first woman, Leah, and because she wanted Rachel, because he wanted Rachel, he had to work again and pay a, a, a price of 14 years for both of the two daughters of Laban to have them. It, there was a pay for him to pay. And also there was a pay to be paid for him to have things in terms of cattle and um, sheep and goat. And this father of faith was a man of faith. He did not give up. He continued. So there is no giving up in doing the right thing. There is no giving up in doing the right thing. Do the right thing. Pay the, your bride price. And you're going to be blessed by God. So women, stop settling for less. When you come to a relationship and you begin a uh, come with stay relationship, the first, the second year, pressurize the man to go and pay a bride price. He is working. Push him to work and begin to pay small, small until he's settled with parents. Stop living with men who have no commitment with you. You are losing your time. You are wasting your time. Tomorrow waits for no one. And if you want your children to be blessed enormously with the great blessings of Jehovah, please pay your wife's a bride price. Dowry. Pay. Is a little token that goes to the parents to release a blessing upon their children, upon your relationship, upon your marriage, and you need to do so. I want to continue to encourage you to understand that relationships are not easy. There is so much work to be done. But I am against these men who don't want to do the right thing. I'm against these men who want free things. A woman for free. And you don't want to pay uh, a bright price. You need to pay. If the other cultures they have are their appreciation, please do that. If it's in Asia, if it's in America, if it's in, it's in which kind of a continent, do so. So that there may be a foundation. A foundation of a relationship is a marriage that has been uh, you have followed the right procedure to become a couple. You need a marriage certificate, do so. You need a traditional marriage, please do so. Honor, honor relationships. Honor marriages. Respect and honor what God honors. Because God wants us to take wants to take us to realms of higher glory, higher blessings as long as we will do the right thing. Jesus was invited in a wedding and he did the first miracle in a wedding. He knew that we also have a marriage with him and soon he will come to take us. He himself paid a dear price, a token of his blood, a token of death 
to pay a price for us to come to salvation. Dear friends, pay uh, the bride price. Pay the dories uh, for the women that you want to stay, to live with till, um, till death do your part. What God has put together, let no man put asunder. I love you guys. I'm praying for your relationships. I'm asking God to give you long-suffering spirit, endurance, patience, to wait upon him in that relationship. Uh, folks, friends, continue waiting patiently. For them that wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. May your strength be renewed in that relationship. May your strength be renewed as you continue to talk with your honey, darling, to do the right thing, to pay the pride price, the bride price. Thank you, guys. In Jesus' name. Amen.